Oh, hey there, people. Yep, bright and early again, for freak's sakes. Bright and early morning, you know what that means. It means shit's getting dead. Let me take a look and see what's really going on. Oh, friggin' nice dad's back. Round two fight. Doing the plumbing this time. So, we got the washer and dryer and the old wooden center cabinet guy out of the way. And uh, dad's finding all these interesting parts back there. What are you for? Oh, you're like a conduit. Neat. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bloody mess back there, but, uh, yep, yeah, we will get her figured out and uh, get the water in, and this time he has those propane torch, because I don't think my butane torch would have melted solder, so we're right on. So, if I take my pencil and you're measuring it. So now when you guys think it's weird that I vlog and talk to myself, you know where I get it from. Just saying. Oh, to the garage, people. So Dad's gonna give me a little crash course on how to solder pipe. So he showed me how to install the flux or put the flux onto it. Gotta get you one of those heads like my buddy has, where you got the button. Oh, that's not a that's not a jet. Can you crank her? No. Shit, I gotta go and get that. Oh no! This is the reason why we couldn't do it on Tuesday. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So Dad's got to run home and grab his proper torch attachment. That one's weird, I don't know where. I don't know what scenario you'd actually want a torch that just belched out flames like that. Maybe there's an application for it that I'm just not seeing, but yeah, I'm telling you, what a waste. That, 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 that attachment didn't work, and he's gonna see about getting this coupler. I don't know, he's got all this stuff happening up here, so he's on his way home to pick up parts, and I, I just wanna vape. Fuck sakes, people, I, I, I lost you. Speaking of the mailman, somebody's got a package. Oh, friggin' rice, people. Package, love that kind. It's mostly DIY stuff, we'll take a look. Oh, this just in. General Motors can lick the muscle that cuts my shit. Got another one of these awesome letters about the recall. Now the shifter cable's at fault, eh? Holy, and then people wonder why I wanna buy a Dodge. You know, cause GM totally sucks. So here we go, people. DIY stuff for making my own juices. That's weird. I didn't order the strawberry in 30. I ordered it in 10, but they sent me a 30. French, what was that? French vanilla? Oh, that's butterscotch flavoring. The double apple, delicious. French vanilla, that's French vanilla. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, we got a bunch. What the hell's that one? Graham crackers. Didn't even order that. They must just, oh, there's the one I wanted, the Monster Energy drink. Nice. They must have threw a bunch of flavors in here that I didn't want. Extreme ice. I asked for the sweetener, but... Never asked for extreme ice, don't know what the hell that is. Right on. I love mixing juices. Oh, check it out, people. It's almost it's almost complete. The pipeline is almost complete. We may start sending water from the back of the house to the back of the house. The pipeline, people. The pipeline. Check it out. Yup, there she be, people. I'll finally be able to wash down the Trans Am and wash down the G6 and... Clear all the mud off the romper so I can get underneath it and do some work without getting poop on me. Friggin' right. But now I need to find some caulk. Fucking right, it's a great big tube of caulk. Alright people, water is on. Everything's installed. Not seeing any puddles on the ground. Not See? seeing, oh dick. Not seeing any puddles on the ground. Let's see what happens when he kicks out on. <laughs> Nothing. No leaks in here. Oh, look right there. You got a leak right at your nozzle. Right my nozzle. Got a leak over here? What? And that's what your water is. Yeah. Check it out. Of course, it's got my dog soaked. For sakes. He thinks it's a game. <laughs> what? No, I thought I was digging this. Ah! So angry. There you go. Now let's see if I can can. So I'm going to need a new one of these. <laughs> I'm going to need a new one of these. But uh, it'll be fine for now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think my repair... I think my repair techniques have been rubbing off on Dad because look at the way he decided to caulk the hole. Because my, my, my caulk is hard. <laughs> yeah, my caulk is hard. It doesn't come out the tube. I hate it when my caulk gets hard, but sometimes I love it. Well, it looks like I got some useless caulk here, so I'm gonna toss my caulk in the garbage. You know, just... And once again, it's back together. So Dad's giving me some ideas for this. Remember the new hot water tank that was put in in the winter? And you can't close this door because... 
fucking banging off of the regulator or whatever the hell that thing is called. Probably the, you know, the, the enabler, whatever. So he gave me some ideas on how to reframe this and bring the door out. And I kind of like it. So I'm probably going to do it. Okay, probably going to do it. But when we get back from the Lokes, obviously, because for sakes. We need to and do. it's only 2.30. Oh, friggin' right. Got that up. Got a new outlet in here. I'm going to have to do some work on that wall. But you know what? It's a garage. Who cares? So that outlet now, both prongs work. Doors installed. And we have ourselves outdoor plumbing, which I used to wash off my tractor, which now I can use to wash off the back tire on the poop bike, because this has a lot of poop on the back tire. Because I ran over my poop. Hey look, it's flat again. Doesn't even take a day. Already flat. And when I was talking about stump removal and using a hose, this is basically what I was talking about, is you use it to clean off the root system, and you hit it with an axe. We're not pulling this today, but uh, Dad just wants to see how bad it is to get an idea because I don't have any axes, I just have my hatchet but he has a couple big axes that we can use to do this so sometime when I'm laid off I might borrow it and uh, hammer down, hammer down Oh, Dad just pointed at it, I had no... Sorry about that people, oh I might have just fucked my camera Oh thank god I thought I fucked my camera people but Dad pointed out that I have an actual outlet in here that works I was not aware. I was not aware. And everything is done. Oh, I forgot to bring my, my broken cock out to the garage. Not a big deal. But uh, we're all golden here. Ready to rock. Get okay, things off of there. So now what I need to do is do some laundry. And later tonight I'm going to run over to Walmart. I don't want to go now because it's busier than fuck. I need to pick up some glycerin. Because uh, Bloke and I plan on mixing some juices. When I go down. Well, it looks like this thing's broken. Gotta love it, eh? You buy these expensive e-darts thinking they're gonna be awesome because they're running an awesome chipset. The manufacturer overcharges for them and builds them like fucking junk. So honestly, people, if you want to build a DNA 30 device, don't buy it from somebody. Buy the chip and build your own. They overcharge for it and they don't put any fucking quality into it. Oh man, I got a new reason to never buy another fucking Dell computer again. Those sons of bitches are the worst telemarketers in the world. Anybody out there who bought a Dell, you probably know what I'm talking about. They fucking call you and try and get you to buy them like warranties and more warranties and all these fucking warranties. And it's like, if I wanted the warranty when I bought the computer, I would have fucking bought it then. I didn't buy it then, so fuck off already. But they won't. They keep calling you and it's like, you're like, I'm not interested. And they start fucking blabbing more and you're like, stop. And they're like, all we need, sir, is your social insurance number. I'm like, why? so you can fucking steal my identity? No, fuck off. And they won't fuck off. And it's like, fine, hung up on the stupid fucking dune coon. Sick and tired of that shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I already bought your computer for $1,500. Quit trying to take more money out of me for a service you're probably not gonna fucking honor in the anyway. So, yeah, no more Dell computers for this guy. I'm gonna buy fucking like other brands like Asus or build my own. And as for laptops, I'll just buy Asus. Fuck Dell. They're annoying little telemarketing cunts. Well, people, it's about 6 o'clock at night. I should probably get out there and start barbecuing some supper. I just rebuilt this thing here, the uh, Helios, with a sub-ohm build. I never sub-ohm on boxes like this, but, you know, Trip Trippers does it, and he says it works pretty good. So I was like, well, fuck, I'll give her a try. But check this shit out. So there's the grimy build there, and I'm watching you pull the trigger. It's like, really gives her, it really chooches. And that's only uh, 21 watts. And she's chooching that hard. That's friggin' impressive. Very impressive. Even though you guys love it so much, here's a couple clouds. I can see why people rebuild these to sub home. It's gonna add some more juice to it. Crank her up a notch. We'll bring her up to 30. 30 watts. Now, as you can see, it just chucks it. But because it's producing so much vapor, it goes through more juice. But speaking of more vapor, let's crank the sun bitch. Take her right to 50. Just so you guys can see, 50 watts. Oh, let me pull the trigger again. 50 watts. Pull the trigger, watch this. It's just blowing out the friggin' air holes. It's so vapey. You get like three discharges off it at this level. 
then you got to drip again. But like short pulls, eh? One second pulls. So, pretty decent. You definitely fucking get one. <laughs> Look at that shit for August 14th, eh? Fuck sakes. That's the only downside to having the tap here is when I have the hose running in the backyard. And I have it laid out right now because I don't know why. But, uh, whatever. Dad just told me to lay it out for some reason. I can't remember what he told me. But, uh, it reaches right down there to those hedges. No problem. I can get to everywhere in this backyard with this hose and everywhere in the front yard with this hose now with the current location that is fucking beautiful but i freaked out when i came out because i saw it there and i thought there was a garter snake and i kind of backed up and went oh fuck it's just my hose all right people got the barbecue fired up and uh i thought there was three pork chops in that package turns out they're they're like all layered on top of each other so i said frig it and just fired the whole thing on there get her done looks like there's a change of plans for tomorrow though um Originally, my plan was was to go to bed tonight at eight o'clock in the mor uh, in the evening, and then tomorrow get up at four a.m., jump in the car, and head down to Blokes and be there for nine a.m. However, he's got to work tomorrow. He's got a job due, and it could last up till three o'clock. So it takes me about five hours, five and a half hours sometimes to get there. So I figure if I leave at like ten, I get there by around three. So if I left by 11, I get there around 4, and that's, I don't know, that's, that's it's alright, but it's kind of meh, you know? You want to know what's awesome, now that I have a garden hose outside? I can use that on the front lawn. That is a full bottle of herbicide, which kills dandelions and all the weeds and stuff. Yep, and that's not the, uh, that's the old stuff. That's the stuff that works. The new stuff is fucking junk. And just like that, the meat is complete. Ugh. Alrighty, well, I'm fucking starved, so I'm gonna bring the meat upstairs. I got my craft dinner cooking in the microwave. Gonna take about eight minutes. And then uh, I'm gonna have craft dinner and pork chops supper tonight. It's gonna be fucking glorious. She's so sleepy. Ain't you, too. You're so cute. You're so cute. Who's the cute kitty? Well, I'm gonna head up the North Highway and go visit Adrian at work. Uh, he's at the trailer place up on the. Uh oh! I almost fell over. I went to lift my leg and I kicked the dog. Fuck. I'm gonna head her up there and uh, get shit did. By that I mean just hang out and vape. Because his boss is big into vaping, bought himself a K fund. And for some reason can't get it to fire right. And that's a given because K funds are sometimes not fun. Unless you build it right. If you get it right, fucking loads of fun. Alright, people, I'm home, but I gotta go back outside. Fuck's sakes, forgot my darts in the car. Son of a bitch. Hate when I forget my darts in the car. But anyway, we're home now. Um, went to Walmart. Could only get one bottle of fucking glycerin. They're sold out. Damn vapors buying up all my glycerin. Sons of bitches. But it's the way she goes. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna shut her down here, people. Uh, camera battery's almost dead. And uh, I'm getting pretty